Now I lay me down to unlock rhythm in the gizzard brain. Back then I would have done almost anything for attention. When they clapped, crude praise, flock dark room roar, pail of water at a baby's face, no cistern for bygones. Lee Junkin Burgess Knox. Lee Junkin Burgess Knox. An unabashed pat on the head for remembering in right order the music of the names of my first teachers, Lee Junkin Burgess Knox. One room school teachers, each row a grade. Poetry plainly still this little yet. Integer poppet. I brought my uh, folding fork tonight to show you. It's um, from the days of sale, uh, 19th century. Uh, I was just driving today, so I brought it. I don't bring my folding fork on reading tours anymore. I can't take it on planes. It might be confiscated as a dangerous weapon. It is dangerous because it solves for good a need. At home, I often touch the initials scrimshawed into its bone handle. I hold a gift some man ate with for months at sea in the 1800s and never think to use it myself for what it was made for. It has become a metaphor of the kind of poem that turns on itself to make emptiness sing, the inwardness and ruthlessness of a line. I really am the kind of person who bites the loose skin between his thumb and his index finger when he's worried he might have sounded like a doofus. Airports began as heaven's basements. They have evolved into prison malls. Scanned, no past gets through, unless cartooned. And unique is eunuch. But hand to mouth, our first crude way of feeding each other, what Bakhtin calls our collective medieval folk body, we hordes, waltz right through. Past the terror in security's glittering eyes. This is about the frogs at our lake. Gerund, gerund, gerund. The old frogs petifog. And the peepers ing 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 ing. Get under, get under, get under. My slowed tongue, its solo drying around the third note. Do, re, mi, around the third note. I do remember falling so late, I do. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. I do re, mi, ber, falling so, la, it, I do. The care and rot of the next word verge upon defeat and silence. 
My old ones deserve restitution without speech or hope. I am almost this close, fleetingly, stranded to closure's purse. To be without you is to sleep as it snows and wake up late in the day. You made the first fresh tracks out at dawn. That's when I should have followed. The city has gone about its business between us since then. I walk where the herds have gone, looking in the overlapping treads for the pearls of your toes. I am roaming the streets in search of words to be read at my funeral. I could find them, but what would that prove? If I can find them out here among panicking strangers, I will have proven what I set out to prove. I can stop speaking and go right on speaking. 